So we're going to try to change it again. Let's see if we can click on our domain. And can we get no? Still the same error message. So it does not like uh, the. <clears throat> I think it has something to do with my open DNS like uh, how I have uh, configured that because I have done that on my router as well so I think it has something to do with that one what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, try to release that from the router as well but right now for the sake of this let's uh, just put the uh, mic uh, server address here and see if we can join again there click change if I can click and get the username password let's put the password in And see if I get the welcome or this domain added something like that then I'm gonna go over there and show you that this uh, computer's name winter is you see welcome to the miran.local domain we can click OK and you're gonna ask us to restart it okay let's restart it and we will see what the next uh, the screen look like normally you just get uh, the local users and their pictures uh, so let's restart it while it's restarting I'm gonna go on the other computer on the server and show you that uh, we got the this computer added over there so if you can see it has only the laptop that is the top one I should have brand named it like that Windows 10 that's a virtual machine Windows 7 that's another virtual machine if I click refresh right here, we should, should see the uh, Windows 8 computer and it's right there. So now my that physical computer is actually, if you can see, it's running inside a virtual machine, uh, the server. So that my physical computer over there is connected to my virtual machine over here. Uh, the, so it's a success. I'm going to go back to that computer, see uh, if I get if I can log in with the uh, a domain account and then I'm gonna see if I'm able to go online let's go back there so I have talked a lot that I am a big fan of a dual operating system and I always had to uh, two operating systems on my computer so you can see even this my old desktop uh, that I no longer use I had uh, two uh, printing system installed on this one. So let's click on 8.1. I'm going to pause the video again. All right, so this is my login screen. Let's see what we have. Normally, when I click here, I see mine and my son's uh, um, user accounts that we can log in to see what we get. All right, so that was not it. let's click on other user and if you can see it says sign into Imran that's the low um, um, that's the domain name for this let's log in with the admin and click on uh, the password okay let's uh let me figure this one up oh it's right there it's saying uh sign into windows 8 basically it's signing into the local machine so if i click here and put imran 
backslash that administrator and now if I enter the password I have to put the phone down to enter the password all right so you see it worked um, uh, so basically what um, this is the administrator account that uh, I logged in with but I joined the this computer to my domain with a normal domain user that had no administrator rights I'm still thinking to add a help desk account uh, and give it all the administrator uh, privileges I'm gonna pause the video and when I get to the desktop I'm gonna resume so I am at my desktop I can close this out you can see that I'm at my desktop it has all the game or stuff I picked up everything except for the desktop icon let's click it and bring it over here and quit confirm an old AMD processor when I used to mine uh, bitcoins litecoins uh, they were too expensive uh, I'm not expensive yeah expensive to mine like you can mine it for three years and get maybe just one Bitcoin so I mined uh, um, I tried to mine some other things uh, you see a uh, quark wallet over here that was yep I forgot the names right here I tried that uh, it never worked all right so I'm at my desktop let's see if I'm domain join it should see right there win8 that's the full computer name right there or imran.local so it's domain join um, that's a good thing now let's see if we have internet if we go here you see no internet access it says imran.local limited I need to uh, fix this one easy way is if we can go now Ethernet properties go to V4 and properties and give it okay close close and let's go here it didn't work okay that's weird so I need to figure this part out as well I'm pretty sure it's because of that uh, uh, over there internet is actually working that's weird it's working and I still get this oh that's gone you can see that uh, yellow icon is gone so this is how you fix it for the time being I just need this computer uh, join to my domain so I can make the other video about PDQ and uh, and uh, software deployment all right so let's log out of it everything is working good thank you for watching and this is how you join a physical machine to your virtual server in a active directory domain if you like the video please read comment and subscribe share